Today on Nation, the Window Cleaners Podcast, we're talking all about finding leads for your window cleaning, pressure washing, home sales, anything. Uh, so if you're getting leads, if you're busy or you need to be more busy, if more busy is a thing, either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from WCRWindowCleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? Hey, thanks for hanging out with us. If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully it's better than uh, watching the I Like Turtles guy on YouTube. There's tons of content to catch up on, like 100 and almost 80 episodes, 180 straight weeks. There's a lot of content. Go do that. Give us a thumbs up if you're watching on YouTube. But more importantly, if you are listening, go ahead and leave a review anywhere you find podcasts. Hopefully it's a decent review. But either way, I love the engagement. If you're on YouTube, make sure to comment because commenting is what the algorithms and the interwebs likes. So do that. And that's how I get to talk to you guys. So definitely do that. Mostest of all importantly things... I don't know what's more than that. But either way, the best thing you could possibly do and the biggest high five of awesomeness that you could possibly do and make me cry a tear of of joy is putting your orders in through me. Yes, it's a shameless plug, but my number is 862-312-2026. I get a ton of you that just text me and be like, yo, last week's episode was awesome or last week's episode sucked or you're wrong or you're right. Uh, I love those two, um, but put your orders in through me. Big or small, always let me put the order in. I would love, love, love that virtual high five of awesomeness, like I always say. So definitely, definitely do that. Plus, my backwards is getting a little better. You get the uh, the awesome Cool Kid sticker. Uh, that Cool Kid sticker is almost up, and then we go to the next edition. So we will always have a new sticker coming out. So be like, yo, I want a sticker. And uh, you'll get one of those cool limited edition stickers that only people who buy from me and only people who mention the sticker who see it in the videos get a sticker. It's limited edition. It's a sticker. Who doesn't love stickers? Anyway, I have not done shout outs in a heck of a long time. So I'm going to throw out a whole bunch of them. Uh, I'm going to start doing shout outs again, by the way. So if you are ordering from me, um, you get a shout out because you're awesome. And I should have been doing this. But anyway, Richard Mendoza. What's up, man? John Longstreet. What's going on? Uh, the man himself, Aaron Armstrong, Dan Evans, Ryan Berg, Matt Clebeau, of course, Matt Clebeau, and Peter J- Duchesny. I knew I was going to butcher your name, man. Uh, but he watches every episode, every single week. So I got to give him a shout out for that because he's awesome. So uh, thank you guys for everything you do. Thank you for being awesome. And I just want to give you some recognition. You got it. Uh, but there you go. Uh, either way, today we're talking about finding leads for your service business. And I say that because if it's pressure washing, window cleaning, gutter cleaning, whatever you do, you can find leads. And you have to find leads. We had a thing I posted. I said that your website will bring in the most uh, work ever out of any other thing. And I didn't really think referrals. I meant in any advertising, actual advertising. And people were like, referrals, referrals. Well, yeah, obviously referrals. But your website, website's awesome. But you have to get new leads in, right? You have to get new customers because even if you've been doing this for a long time, people die, people move, people just stop using a window cleaner because their nice nephew said he would do it, right? So you're gonna lose people. You need to get a fresh batch of people in all the time, and those are leads. Leads basically just mean it is somebody who is interested in your product or service in your case. And that's window cleaning, pressure washing, window cleaning, or window <laughs> screen cleaning. Anything that you do, people want you to do it. And somebody who's interested in that is a lead. Um, there are people out there who will never hire a window cleaner in all of their life. They will go on uh, living happy lives and not having a window cleaner. So those are not leads. Those are not people that you want. You want somebody who's interested in what you do. And that's what we're talking about. If you don't have a lead generating thing, then you're missing out. There is a big difference between an active and passive lead gen or lead generation. 
And sending out EDDM, that is passive, right? It just, you put it out there and then they have to call you, right? Um, letting people do referrals. That's technically lead generation, but it's on their dime. Do they want to tell somebody? Who are they telling? How are they selling your service? How are they? It's somebody else's. You're waiting for them to call you. Website, car decals, uh, any door hangers you're doing. That is all passive, meaning they're going to call you if they want to. They're going to call you when they want to. It's all in their time, their dime. It's the quickest to kind of blanket everything, but it's on them to get to you. And there's another version of lead generation that a lot of us don't do, and that's active. Being active. Now, active itself is sales. Now, I hate, hate door knocking, cold calls, like going to the front door and being like, hello, I'm a window cleaner. And I'm like, you're at somebody's house. I know it works for some of you. Please tell me if it does in the comments if you tried it, but I hate it. I don't like doing that. It's not what I'm talking about. But there's another way to be active, and that is with funnels. Funnels is a huge, huge thing. Um, that is basically creating a funnel of marketing where you throw out an offer or something catchy. They give you their information in order to get something, and then from there, it just keeps dropping down. You sell them, upsell them, whatever you want from there. And basically what that does is... You create a ad, and you've seen them before, say um, Facebook, that type of thing, where the ad has a picture of whatever they're giving. Say you're going to get a free gift certificate. You want to give us a shot? Here's a free $50 gift certificate to give us a shot. When they click that, it'll bring them in and it'll say, give us your email and we'll email that over to you right now. You know, having that little bit of information, you got an email. Maybe you get an email and phone number. Maybe you have... Give us your you know, email, phone number, and then on the next page after they get it, say, are you ready to book? Now you have your 50% or your $50 gift card. Are you ready to book services? What day of week works best for you? What's the phone number to call you? Blah, 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 blah. Now all of a sudden, you have a person who wants your service. They um, told you they want your service because they're getting a free gift certificate. They now have a gift certificate. They have free money to use. You have all that information for a call. Now, maybe they're not calling you. Maybe they're going to give this gift certificate to somebody else. Maybe they just don't want to anything as far as active. It's on you to call. Hey, it's Jersey calling from windowcleaner.com. I would love nothing more than to get you in the schedule. Is there anything I can answer question-wise? I mean, we do it here. You know you've got ordered with us before you've gotten calls. We call everybody, try to at least twice a year just to say, hey, what's up? Give me a call if you need something, that kind of thing. Stay relevant, right? That is active lead generation. There's a lot of versions of that, but that is active. There's a big difference between the active and the passive. Now, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of um, doing diversifying marketing, right? I think... My humble thought. But I think that any marketing you're doing, you should do every single form of marketing. You should be everywhere. The big players in the marketing world are everywhere. Talk about a McDonald's. Talk about a Coca-Cola, whatever. They're on the radio. They're in magazines. They're in newspapers. They're sending stuff to your house. They're in commercials and on the Super Bowl. They're on blimps and events. They sponsor sign. They do it all. And all that does is to create create relativity, basically. Allowing people to know that they're relative. Like, keep them in the forefront. Now, think about this. And I say this all the time, I know. But think about this. This, this, this little bit has basically been one of those things that dropped into my head years and years ago that made me like, whoa, right? Every single human being... In this country, probably the world, but we'll go a country. Every single human being in the United States that is older than, say, two, and it may even be a year and a half, they know what a McDonald's is. And they've been to a McDonald's. They've seen a McDonald's. They've watched a commercial on McDonald's. They know what they sell. In fact, if you think about it right now, You may not have been to McDonald's in a long, long time. I haven't been there in years. But 
I can still close my eyes and think about what everything tastes like. Like, I can think that. I can remember that. Everybody knows it so much it's burned into their skulls. But McDonald's still spends millions on advertising. Why would they advertise to people who already know who they are or what they are or what they do? It's to get them to come back in. It's to stay relative. It's to stay in the forefront. When somebody doesn't stay in the forefront, they disappear off into obscurity, and it is so much harder to make a, a, a return, right? If you make a return, it's because you've reinvented yourself. Let me give you an example because I have daughters. Do you remember a thing called Crocs? Yeah, those ugly like rubber shoes you could put in a, a dishwasher. They were like... They were, when they first came out, people were like, oh, that's kind of weird. And then they kind of were maybe popular for a bit. Now, all of a sudden, people are like, yeah, no, you're a nerd if you wear Crocs. Like, super nerd. My brother, <laughs> who is a super nerd, has worn Crocs. That's like his house shoes that he wears inside the house. He's like fuzzy Crocs. He's had them as long as I can possibly remember since, I mean, it's been 10 years before they were cool. Now Crocs reinvented themselves as like you can get like special Post Malone Crocs and you get little gibbets and like everybody wears them and you're a visco girl if you got... Yeah, I just said that. Crocs reinvented themselves, but they went into obscurity. They disappeared for years and now they're back. If you haven't seen people with Crocs, now you're going to notice them all the time and I'm sorry. Sorry that I even pointed it out to you. But that's what you need to do, right? That is... Uh, lead generation is getting people interested in your service and having them contact you. Now, what happens when you get a lead? If somebody calls you from a mailer, people aren't really assuming it's a lead. They're not thinking of it as a lead. They're thinking of it as like, oh, this guy's calling. To but what happens is somebody calls you, they say your flyer, your EDDM, and they go, oh, this is kind of cool. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm wondering about your uh, uh, window cleaning service. You know, uh, what would the price be? You know, what's your availability? All that fun stuff. They're a lead, meaning they're interested in what you're doing. A super qualified lead and a very hot lead, right? They called you. Anybody who calls you is super, super hot because they've made it so much their decision that they've actually taken action to call you. Super hot lead calling in. What do you do? If you just were like, ah, oh, I'd be 129. They're like, oh, uh, okay. Um, uh, do you have availability? Are you available? Yep, we're available anytime. Uh, okay. Like if you don't, nourish the lead no matter how hot they are a flame will go out unless you blow on it unless you give it kindling unless you give it the right area and right environment that is a lead when somebody calls you no matter how hot of a lead they are you still need to close them and then you upsell them you give them all your services out on a silver platter of what you want to do and raise your average ticket that is a super hot lead now there's another version which is a cold lead but it's still a lead now, that would be somebody who did go through your funnels. By the way, if you're interested in funnels, um, we do, or I do, uh, put funnels together. Let me know. We'll, we'll show you. But just to kind of put that out there. Say somebody finds your funnel. They then um, will say, I want this item, and they send you their email. All you got was an email. All you got was maybe a phone number, whatever it is, and you gave them 50% or $50 off your services. Now, that particular person was interested enough that they got something. They were so interested in that thing, they got it. You gave them a gift certificate. You gave them a gift card, however you want to word it. They now have that. They were only getting that if they thought in the realm of possibilities they were going to get window cleaning at some point. They wanted to try you. They wanted to go that route. So it's a lead. It's not as hot. But now it's your job to contact them. Email them, call them, whatever. Hey, this is Jersey from XYZ Window Cleaning. And I know you got our free uh, coupon. That's awesome. Congrats. I'm glad that we could uh, uh, get with you to you know show us what we can do. That kind of thing. Now it's your job to sell yourself, get them more interested, so that they then will book the appointment, book your services, and you can upsell them, raise that ticket. Right? Some leads need more than others but you need to have them all you should always have incoming leads you should always be working on new customers for your business customers equal life if you don't have customers you die 
If you have a window cleaning business, you may be the most amazing window cleaning business and your logo is so good. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. And you don't have one customer. Guess what? You're not in business. If Coca-Cola being the biggest thing ever, all of a sudden one day, every single human was like, nah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to drink Coca-Cola anymore. Guess what? After about a month of that, they are not a company anymore. Customers equal life. They do. It's the most important thing you can have in your business. Having leads always being refreshed, always coming in, allows you to work those leads, get new customers, get new accounts, continue to build the empire. You have to, and leads are one of them. If you haven't tried EDDM, I'm going to go on the EDDM kick again. Bear with me. It'll only be a minute. EDDM stands for Every Door Direct Mail. That is a USPS or United States Postal Service. Uh, I don't know what they would really consider it. I guess it's one of their packages or one of their, it's a product by them, right? What you do is you give them a mailer, their specific denominations and all that. They have an amazing website for that where you put a zip code or even an address in, find the carrier routes, and you have to give one postcard to every person on that carrier route. You can pick as many carrier routes as you want up to a certain limit. And I think the minimum is one carrier route, which is like two, three hundred pieces. But each of those pieces end up going out for like 16 cents. Super, super cheap because you're blanketing things. Now, EDDM is a great program. And if you haven't tried it, you should try it. Listen to this right now. And if I could put asterisks in your ear... You have to do EDDM right. You have to not send one time. It is not unheard of, pretty common to send an EDDM and not hear from one person the first time. The only way an EDDM works, because it is the most like soft, passive version, is you have to send that same card to the same people three times at least before you start getting really good returns. Companies have been built on EDDM. Now, Chris Lamborghini's. Uh, of window cleaner when he owned all county that company was built on eddm there's guys now i know that are sending out twenty thousand piece mailers a month eddm is super super important we do printing uh with window cleaner uh, dot com by the way window cleaner.com forward slash uh printing or you can call me and i can put your printing order in huh shameless plug again but try the eddm eddm is an awesome 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 thing if done right it is bringing in passive you're getting it in front of people's eyes not everybody's going to look at it but it is getting out there it's getting in front of people and it gets those leads to then call you if you send out a a really nice piece at the right time someone is going to see that it's going to trigger right away and they're going to call you it's going to be a hot lead because it's already in their brain it covers a lot of things if you haven't done um facebook ads do Facebook ads. I'm telling you. Facebook marketplace, Facebook ads, all of those are so absolutely important to what we do. If you're looking at new and qualified leads, not only can you target more than ever, you can build a funnel into Facebook. I know the funnel thing is, is I'm talking a lot about that, but the thing is, is that you can still get information leads or you're not just putting it out there. I'm like, oh, I hope... I hope somebody clicks. If they click, hopefully they call. If they call, hopefully I can sell them. You're still raking the information. You're creating a lead. Do Facebook. Now, by the way, pricing-wise, to give you an idea, EDDM, you can buy, say, 2,500 pieces, we'll say, or 1,000. We'll say 1,000 pieces of EDDM going to be relatively more expensive than if you bought a ton of pieces, of course, but with a piece, with the shipping, you're still talking maybe 25 to 30 cents a piece to send that stuff out. A thousand people will see what you have for that. Now, a thousand pieces, you have to be at like a 200 to 300 person route and just send that one little route a bunch of times. But all of a sudden it becomes an ATM. People are calling you. Boom, boom, boom. Now, all of a sudden, that's why you see these guys with the 10,000 pieces. They're sending 10,000 pieces to 2,000 people a bunch of times. They're not sending to 10,000 different pieces. People. They're just not. So that's why you see these guys doing 10K pieces every single month. They're just sending it, sending it, sending it. Every month, those same 10,000 people might be getting a, a mailer, right? Maybe they're doing 5,000 twice a month. 
You have to send it frequently. With funnels on Facebook or Facebook ads, they can see it that one time, but it's gonna keep triggering to be in front of them. It's really, really smart. By the way, you can do ad spends on Facebook for 20 bucks a day if you want. People are like, $20 a day, that's kind of... How much is one job for you? How much is a, how much is a lead? How much is a hot lead? If <laughs> a hot lead, yeah, who wants a hot lead? If you have a lead call you, and I got somebody that said, hey, I got a dude who's in your area right now. He needs window cleaning. Can you help him out? Yeah. How much is that worth to you? Well, what's your average ticket? Most of our average ticket is over 250 I'm talking about average ticket. So that's all the outs, all the ins and outs, all the ins and outs, gutter cleaning, house wash, everything that you do, an average ticket, an average stop, how much is that averaged out? Say it's 250 for even numbers. That one lead is worth $250 if you close it. That's your average, right? Now, what if I could send you a hot lead? Well, that would be a little bit more. But what if I sent you a cold lead? Is that still not worth it? Say you have four um, cold leads equal to one hot lead, okay? Let me explain. One hot lead means somebody saw your stuff. They're calling you right now. Hey, I want to call uh, to uh, book an appointment uh, with window cleaning. I want to give you guys a shot. That's a hot lead. They're valuable because they're you got to screw them up. You, know, you can upsell them. You may not upsell them, but you really got to. It's an easier close. That's a hot lead. But a cold lead, I still still would, would take lists and lists of people who are interested in window cleaning in our area that I could help. Now I got their interest. I got their attention. Hey, guess what? Window cleaning is something you're interested in. They're a warm lead. Four of those, I can get one yes for every four of them. Say your close rate is 80%. Say you take that 80%. That's what a normal close rate would be, say 80%. Say you cut that in half because these are warm leads. Now, mind you, no one is clicking on a get a free gift certificate to something that they're not really interested in. They're just not. So it's more than just this, but say four even numbers. You're at 40%. 40% close rate, which you're like, oh man, that's not good. That's if somebody calls you, but I'm talking about cold leads. 40% close rate means that 40% of the people you contact will close. That means those leads are still worth that. 40% of the leads you get, even in the warm, are going to close and give you $250. So when we go back to talking about like people like, hey, this is just too expensive. It's not. Because what are you spending? Say you spend an ad spend of $250 for an entire month. An entire month. Of ads, your total spends two fifty for the month. All you're spending is the two hundred fifty dollars in ads, and you're going to get at least one ad. I mean, even if the worst case scenario happened and you're in the middle of winter and you only got one, you're still broke even and you're still in front of a bunch of people staying relevant. But that's not what happens in that many days with the right ads, the right funnels. You are going to get a ton of leads. You're going to work them. Forty percent of those leads will then close. This is where the bigger companies, they turn it into an ATM. When you find somebody who's spending $100,000 a month on advertising, you're like, whoa, I would rather just keep the hundred. No, that $100,000 is bringing them in a million dollars in sales for that month. Like, this is how it translates. Here is kind of a dumbed down version, which I know you guys don't need the dumbed down version, but just to grasp it more. If you can dial in an ad campaign or a funnel or an EDDM piece or whatever. And you funnel, focus it down and it is such a good targeted ad that creates a response that gets people to call you, it gets the lead. Say those numbers were all perfect and you could do that. And I said to you that out of every job that every lead I sent you, it would bring you in $50 worth of revenue. Because if you think about that, that would be every fifth person you got, you would close, say that was it, and your average is 250 Does that make sense? Your average ticket's 250 It takes you five people. One of them will always close, right? Even numbers. So that means that it's going to earn you 250 50 50 50 50 50 right? 
So every lead I send you, or every lead Facebook sends you, or every lead EDM brings you, EDM's different and active, but any lead you get brings you $50. Would you not, if I somehow had a list or it was a magic wand and I could say, for every uh, dollar or, or every $20 you spend, I'm going to give you $50 back. Just You could do it as many times as you want. Uh, that's printing money. That's Yeah, guess what? You would go and get a loan for a million dollars because you know that would return your investment. That's advertising. When you get to hone it in where every dollar you spend brings you $2 back, that's where the money is. That's the ATM. That is business. If every dollar you spend brings you guaranteed $2, nothing's guaranteed, but in this scenario, you'd put all the money you ever got in. Every dollar that somebody paid, you'd be like, man, I'm not taking a paycheck because it's going to be worth $2 as soon as they come back. Put it all in there. That's marketing. That's with all this. That's with lead gen in general. Getting these leads in, working them, all that creates it. Now all of a sudden, instead of just sending out mailers, having some people call you back if they want. Now you're actively getting people. You're actively getting their information. You're actively working them because you're increasing those leads. The more leads you have come in, the more money each lead makes you, right? Here's another great one, Responsibit. I have talked about Responsibit for years. Yes, it's amazing. Uh, Yes, it's phenomenal. My favorite software program I've ever put into a site. Responsibit does something that is lead gen that a lot of people screw up on. Responsibit, if you want to go get a, a, a price on somebody's website, you're trading a price for information. That's what a lot of that, get a quote now, give us your email, blah, 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 blah. If somebody goes through all that, they get all the pricing, and then at the end they give you your their, their name, uh, email, phone number, whatever, and then they get a price, they don't book with you right away, that is a super hot lead. They went through all that trouble to get the price. They now know your price. They've given you their information. Now they're just sitting there waiting. They're waiting and cooling down. They're the flame that's going out. Now it's your job to call them. Hey, it's Jersey from XYZ Window Cleaning. I saw last night you were on taking a look at pricing. Did you have any questions on any of the pricing that it gave you? I'm telling you that the follow-up on something like that is huge. In response a bit in general, our follow-up, I still made probably... Four times as much people closed the next day when I just followed them up than did instantly. The instant ones are awesome. Two in the morning, somebody just, uh, you've got a new job booked by so-and-so, $900 job. You're like, whoa. But guess what? The next morning, I'm going to call all the people who gave me that because now those are leads. I'm working the leads, and I'm increasing that. Four times as many people I'll close on the follow-up than will book right away. These are just general numbers, but these are why leads are so valuable. If you don't have an influx of leads or what they call that funnel, right? The funnel of leads, you're missing out on working all that. If you've ever just sat around like, all right, it's because you didn't have the leads. You didn't have those people interested that you were going to call and sell. All of a sudden, all you're doing is just contacting everybody around if they're hot or cold or again, I'm never going to hire a window cleaner to do my windows. Not for a long time at least, right? So with that being said, if you're spending any money advertising to me, it's just bringing down your per lead income. Don't advertise to me. I'm not the one to go. So get a warm lead. Get a hot lead. Bring them all in. Remember how valuable a lead is. And then the big thing is nurturing the info. When you get this information, don't just like, oh man, I made a bunch of calls, throw it away. Those are people who showed interest. If anybody ever said to you, window cleaning, oh man, yeah, my mom, she used to hire a window cleaner and you just went, oh wow, okay, cool. All right, we'll talk later. Uh, You just found somebody through somebody that's interested in window cleaning. What do you do? You're a window cleaner. That's a lead. Now, you shouldn't necessarily have to solicit all your friends, but that's a lead. When you get a lead in, work the lead. For as long as you can. I got people I've been sending information to for five years. Will call me and go, you know what? I've been getting these emails for you forever. I've had a window cleaning I was super happy with, but I always got your information. I always got these, you know, emails and things. I just really want to give you a shot. This guy retired or he hasn't been showing up or he doubled his prices or he's whatever. I want to try somebody out. I'm going to go with you. That was a lot of 
blowing on that lead, right? There was a lot of that keeping the ember going all that time. But guess what? I now have an email list of thousands of people who are interested in window cleaning or me having them clean their windows, the people that are in my area. That's huge. When you can send out large email blasts like that, you're seeing huge responses. Even if you get a 4% save, because that's a regular random number depending, uh, 4% uh, close on batch. So you send out 1,000 emails, 4% of them will actually book services with you at that time from that email, prompted from the email. Even if they've booked all the time, it reminds them to book with you. That's huge. What are your open rates? If you can open rate, say, 50% of them, 50% of them you can open have open your email, that means 50% of people have interest in what you do. If you don't even own Windows and you live in a cave, you're not opening a window cleaning email, right? Those are people who are interested. Go through. If you're using a Constant Contact or any of those other services, it actually shows you open rates. You can see if I send you an email now, say, you know, jersey with windowcleaner.com, you guys want to order something, say, hey, send me something in the email so I can take a look at it. I can see how many times you've opened it. If I've seen that you've opened that email 26 times, you're really, really interested and you need help with something. That's when I would call and say, hey, I noticed you've been opening the email quite a bit. Is there anything still you have questions on? Let's see what we can answer. I know that that person's still in. If they open it one time, they don't open it for another two weeks. I call it, they're not answering or anything. They're not really interested in what we have, and that's cool. But then what you could do is focus on the people who are. Same thing with anything. Be relevant. Be relevant. Nurture your information. Get the leads, man. Get as many leads as you can. By the way, if you need help with leads, go with uh, HubSpot is one of them. Uh, I use a pipe drive, but lead uh, CRM, it takes all those leads and you put them into that on what's warm, what's hot, work those leads, and uh, it helps you kind of clear something out. So check that out. The episode was long enough. Get leads. Leads are money. Leads and customers are life. So definitely do that. If you're still listening to me and you want a super cool epic sticker, because why not? Look how small it is too. Wait, wait, there. It like fits on a bucket on a belt. We got people putting it on the coolers. They're not invasive. They're, it's cool. You all of a sudden become one of the nation. You're one of the cool kids. It's a cool kids certified sticker. Let me put your order in for you. It's 862-312-2026. And I'm going back to shout out. So if you put some orders in, I hope I pick your name to say what's up on the shout outs. Here's a couple things. I want to let you know on you guys who are still listening and still watching. I do private coaching. Uh, it is a paid coaching program. Um, you'll never know who's in the coaching program and they'll never know who you are. It's not a group thing. It's individual coaching. If you're interested, let me know my number again, 862-312-2026 or email me jersey at windowcleaner.com. If you want a funnel built, we can help you with that. Also, please do let me know on that. There's just so much stuff going on, guys. You know what you're going to do. Uh, I hope everything's going awesome for you. More importantly, Until next time, go out there and be epic.